Hey guys, so I just got done with a call where I found a compressor that had gone bad due to improper wiring of the starting components. So today I kind of wanted to make a video on what starting components are and how to wire them because this is a mistake that I personally have made and uh, I wish I had known this stuff going into the trade. So I hope you enjoy. Please give me a like and thanks for watching. So while on the topic of starting components, I wanted to kind of go over a problem that you may face out in the field from time to time. Um, identifying terminals on your compressor is very, very important. Sometimes you'll be lucky and they'll be stamped right on the terminals themselves or around them, and sometimes you're just gonna be screwed. You can't always rely on the start, common, run, because some compressors are different. Um, but Using resistance, you should be able to identify which terminal is which. Your common to your run will always be your lowest resistance. Common to start will always be three to five times common to run. And start to run will typically be the sum of the two you just measured. Now, it won't always be exact, but it will get you in the ballpark. So we're going to start Kind of blindly here, I'll go from this terminal here to this terminal. I'm gonna say about 8.4 or 8.5. Let's say 8.5. I'll go from this terminal here. Seven point six, seven point five. And our last ones, it's about 1.3, 1.4. Based on our resistance, we can kind of tell what is what. So from common to run was our lowest resistance. That would be our 1.3. So one of these is common and one of these is run. The next number up is 7.6, so that'll be our common to our start. That was between here and here. And last is our start to our run, which apparently is 8.5. And that was measured here to here. So with those measurements of resistance, we can identify this terminal as start, this terminal is common, and this terminal as run winding. Current relays are usually used on fractional horsepower compressors. Their contacts are closed when power is established and reopen as current drops when motor gets up to speed. Potential relays are voltage sensing, have normally closed contacts, and their switch opens when the coil on the relay senses the voltage across the start winding. Since the voltage generated by the start winding is proportional to the motor speed, the relay will open when the motor has started and is approaching its normal running speed. Let's talk about capacitors. And capacitors are just electrical components that simulate a phase. You'll only find them in single phase motors because single phase motors are just not self-starting. When you apply voltage to a single phase motor, it doesn't rotate on its own because it's got a double revolving field, which those fields cancel each other out. For example, if you were to take a capacitor off the condenser fan motor to your air conditioner outside, it would hum, it wouldn't move. And then you could take a stick to the blade and whatever direction you spin that blade is gonna take off full speed running. You're creating that phase when you take that stick and you push that fan in one direction. Run capacitors improve the efficiency of the compressor, increases the running torque, and lowers the noise that it creates. All right, so we're gonna start with our 115 volt starting components. 
pretty basic setup here where we have our compressor and I've drawn the windings down here. Connected to our terminals, we'll have our current relay, our overload protection, and then wired in, we'll have our start capacitor and our condenser fan motor. But if we're here to learn about the wiring, it's basically because these have probably burnt up or they're bad. And so before we go through the labor and the time and the money to replace those, we want to check the compressor itself. So we're going to buff up a little spot so that we can check our windings to ground. We don't appear to be shorted to ground. And then we want to check the windings themselves. Where we've got our start to our common. Our common to our run. And start to run. Nothing open. Compressor's probably good to go. So step two would be locating the parts. Now sometimes you'll get lucky and these will still be good enough that you can read off of them. Other times you're not gonna be lucky and you're gonna to have to call the model or the serial number into your supply house. But what Copeland has done is they've actually developed an app you can download on your phone where if you type in the model and the serial number, it'll give you all the information about the compressor, including the started components. And I'm gonna show you that here now. Okay, so we're gonna open up the app. We're gonna enter either a model, serial, or part number. For this, we have the ARE 36 c 3 dash I A A and we have a list of suggestions we'll go ahead and just choose our compressor medium temp application and this will just give you a list of all the specs on the compressor scroll back out of that go into the electrical where it tells you more information you get your start capacitor information run capacitor which there's none potential none We'll list the current relay because we do have a current relay. And it'll even list the, uh, the resistance on the windings. All right, now that we've located the proper starting components and we have them ready to wire in, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna take our neutral and we're gonna run it to our overload protection. And really you can swap these. These can go either way. I just really like to switch my line voltage. Off of my protector, I'll go to one side of my condensed fan motor. Line voltage, not too difficult. You'll run it straight to M on your current relay. Off of M, you'll go to one side of your start capacitor. Off the other side of your start capacitor, you'll go to S on your current relay. And off of M, you'll finish by going to the other end of your condenser fan motor. And the way we have it wired now, the condenser fan motor will run anytime the compressor runs, regardless if the start capacitor is in the circuit or not. Okay, moving on to our 230 volt start components. We have our compressor guts here. I've kind of drawn the windings out here a little differently to make this a little easier because this gets pretty complicated. We have our potential relay, start capacitor, and our run capacitor to wire into this circuit. We're going to start off with the easiest part. We're going to run one end of our line to five and five to common. Now you can either take line to common and then common to five as long as that connection is somewhere. Then you're gonna take one to start, start to run and run to run. Off your compressor, start to two, to the other end of run, and the last line to run. 
and that's how you wire 230 volt start components. Alright guys, I hope some of that helped you out. Uh, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.